Hey guys and welcome back to another one. Now a few days ago we took a look at the Minix Z83-4 Pro and I'll post a link right over here and also down below in the video description so that you guys uh, can take a look if you haven't already. Now one of the questions that keeps popping out on my videos is hey Robert what about the power consumption of this device and this device and so on and so forth. So probably I should have done this video earlier but I do believe that it's better late than never. Uh, so what we are going to do today is I'm going to share with you guys the results that I've had in terms of power consumption with this particular mini computer that will give us all an idea how these computers uh, perform in terms of power consumption. So that being said, let's go straight for it. And we are back and before I start sharing all the results with you guys just have in mind that the Minix Z83-4 is equipped with the Intel Quad Core Z8350 and although we are focusing on this particular machine any machine with similar specifications will draw more or less the same power that this mini computer will. So this video, although we are talking about one machine, will be uh, useful, at least in my opinion, of course, for this category or this kind of device. And taking that out of the way, let's go straight for the results. And starting with the first result, which is when the computer is completely shut down, as you can see on screen, we are uh, wasting, in this particular case, 0.8 watts per hour. And guys, this is no secret, as all of you know, anything that we have plugged in our socket is drawing uh, energy although it's a small amount is drawing energy now the uh, a great thing to do would be to unplug everything that we are not using but if you are like me I keep everything plugged and I know that I'm wasting a few euros or pounds or dollars or whatever currency you guys work with in my particular case euros at the end of the year but this is how things work now moving on to turning on the machine uh, as you guys can see it will draw between during the boot of course uh, between 7 to 12 watts per hour. I would say 8, 9 on average, but this is only for um, a few seconds, so it's not that deal breaker in my opinion. Now, when we move on to the next test, which is an idle test, and this is very important to me in my opinion, because computers take or uh, will be a lot of time in idle and, or idle to be more precise. So as you can see on screen we are um, consuming 5 watts per hour which is nothing for a computer and I would say that this uh, particular test is really interesting because I've seen uh, several older machines in the past wasting and this is the appropriate word wasting about 100 to 150 watts uh, on idle or idle and um, doing exactly the same which at this moment is idle uh, but this just to say that in offices with all the computers especially when we have uh, 10 or 15 workstations or 10 or 15 employees if you want to use that word uh, it is a lot of wasted energies just to the mat and compare uh, using one of these small devices and one of the older boxes and one thing that I see uh, e even in my workplace is that people usually don't turn off their computer so they will leave it on a sleep state which is the next result that I'm going to share with you guys moving on to the the sleep state as you can see on screen uh, the lowest result that I've got was 3.1 watts per hour and the maximum was 4 watts per hour now after having 5 watts per hour on idle uh, I was disappointed with the sleep uh, consumption but this is the way it goes and uh, when I mean that a lot of people on real-world usage will not shut down their computers especially at their workplace um, and they think we all think that we are not uh, wasting energy we are wasting a lot of energy of course we are talking about small values but if you translate this to all the machines that are spending 150 watts per hour in idle or 100 watts per hour in idle probably in sleep 
and they are a lot less efficient than these new uh, CPUs. Probably they are wasting about, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 watts per hour while not being used. But that being said, this is just something that you guys can brainstorm and leave down below also all your comments and your opinion. How do you use your computer so that we can have a really great discussion? And that being said, let's move on to the next result. Now, next, I tested with Geekbench uh, just for a few minutes to see how far we could go and I was not really pleased with this test. As you can see on screen, we have about 5 on minimum and then 15 uh, on the maximum. But what I saw on Geekbench, which is what it is, uh, a benchmark, a synthetic benchmark, is that uh, when it's pushing the CPU, it will go up and then it will go down. But it's the way it works, so it's a synthetic benchmark. And I thought, okay, let's do a more aggressive synthetic benchmark, which is 3D Mark Score Ice Storm Extreme. And in this particular case, it's not only pushing the CPU, but it's also pushi pushing the GPU, which is uh, in any machine what will consume the most. And as you guys can see, See on screen the maximum that we could um, take out of this was 22 watts per hour and before we move on with the rest of the test this was actually the maximum that I could draw out of this machine. Now moving on to real world usage because you guys uh, know my opinion I love benchmarks but we are not using these machines to do benchmarks. So uh, moving on to browsing, uh, just a couple of web pages and so on and so forth. This is an action that it's not uh, always on the same level. So I'm browsing in one page which has a few images that needs to be rendered and then I go to the next page which is just text. So as you can see on screen the values will uh, go from 8 to 15 watts per hour which I would say an average of, I don't know, roughly 10 watts per hour doing uh, browsing. Now moving on to video playback, which is something that a lot of you guys do. Actually, you are doing at this exact moment. And if you are watching this video on a mini PC, you are uh, not wasting, but you are using 10 watts per hour, which is uh, the average that I've seen on these uh, on this particular machine uh, while using YouTube at full resolution and uh, actually I'm really happy with this result because these days a lot of people consume uh, multimedia on their tablets, on their mini computers, on everywhere uh, and this was on this particular mini computer 10 watts per hour is not that much. Now the final test that I did was uh, playing around with Word and once again I got uh, some interesting results between 8 and 10 uh, watts per hour which I would say that um, it's the average that we are going to spend using this machine browsing the web, watching videos, playing or working to be more accurate with Word, Excel, PowerPoint and so on and so forth. So in conclusion, guys, first of all, I would just like to apologize for all of you guys that have been asking in the past for a power consumption video regarding these machines and only now I could uh, deliver that to you. But I also believe that it's better late than never, so here it is and now I can share with this great community the results that I got. But in terms of conclusion for this particular topic, guys, I do believe that nowadays uh, almost everyone is very conscious that if we leave something on it will spend or waste energy. So at least on our personal usage, I do believe that most of people are conscious and careful enough to shut down the machines. On the other hand, I would like to see more this behavior in companies, which sometimes the thinking is, this is not mine, so I will leave it like this so that tomorrow morning I can just click a button uh, and it's on sleep mode so it will wake up it's more comfortable to me I don't need to and this will cause a reaction which is sleep mode will spend more energy and at the end of the year uh, it will cost more to the company that I'm working for and we have to think that we are not the only person working there so I'm probably one of 100 and if it's 100 with these values and we are talking about mini computers which is not huge but on all the machines make the math and translate that to 100, 150 watts per hour and probably 50 watts on uh, sleep and do the math uh, according to the price of the energy of, of your area and your country and probably that's a lot, a lot of money. And that is it guys, I'm going to shut up. Hopefully this video will help you to have an idea how these machines 
uh, work in terms of power consumption and that is it any question that you guys still have just leave them down below any comments any ideas any feedback and that is it my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one Thank you.